Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm a 19-year-old female, and this incident occurred two years ago. This is by far the craziest thing that has happened in my life. It all started when I was walking home one night after eating at a restaurant with a friend of mine. It was around the end of the summer season and going into fall, so I was slightly shivering. You might be wondering why me, a young woman, is walking home all alone in the night with no one else around to accompany me. Well, I wasn't carrying anything close to value like a purse, so no immediate theft target besides me myself. Then again, I learned karate in a course of four years, so I thought I could put up a fight if I needed to. Anyways, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but I was very distracted smelling my armpit since it stank so much at that moment that I didn't notice someone in front of me with her back turned. We collided and I apologized. The person I bumped into was a girl who looked slightly older than me, maybe two years. When she first saw me, her expression glowed in awe. I asked her if she was okay. She said she was fine, introduced herself as Mia, and then randomly said that I looked pretty and how I had a nice outfit and jewelry. In my opinion, what I was wearing was nothing fancy, just casual. But hey, we all have our different opinions. To be specific, I was wearing a sleeveless plain white tank top, dark blue jeans that extended to my heels, and red running shoes. In fact, much like a cartoon character, I wore this outfit almost every day. Also, I know I am basically bragging here, but I was pretty attractive. I was slim and had wavy, shoulder-length brown hair. Thanks, I said, rubbing my hand on my other arm shyly in response. Lastly, I was wearing no jewelry at all. I may have found out the reason why, and that is the way she was talking it sounded like she drank some booze, but not too much, and only then I started smelling it from her, in addition to her not walking that normally. As drunk as she was, she didn't look threatening at the same time. From what I can tell from my point of view, at least, I assume that she was a lesbian. Not that I'm against lesbians, for anyone who is curious, but at the same time, I wasn't comfortable being in a full relationship with a female, but just being a friend. She asked me if I wanted to come with her and spend the night at her place. I didn't want to be rude right away, so I politely said, maybe soon, but not tonight. I was down with having another friend, as she looks nice and innocent. That's when stuff suddenly started hitting the fan out of nowhere. It all started as soon as we were done exchanging our contact information with each other when I saw something moving behind Mia. Before I could even think what it was, it was an extremely large hooded man dressed all in black with his face mostly covered by his hood charging at Mia. I then saw him wielding a large butcher's knife. At that point, Mia seemed to sober up a bit, screaming after turning around and realizing the predicament she was in. Before I could do something, I watched in horror as he grabbed her and started thrusting the knife into her right arm and started to violently cut it off. And unfortunately, he succeeded as I heard the dreaded noise of the severed arm hitting the ground with a splat. I knew I had to think fast before things went from bad to worse. The man didn't seem to really notice me when I first saw him, so I quickly tackled him to the ground, pinned him, then punched him in the face a few times. I grabbed the knife from him and threw it a good distance from him. I saw his face bleeding pretty good from my blows. I wasted no time as I told the girl she could come with me to my house so she can be safe, and we both immediately sprinted for my place. Amazingly enough, after what has happened to her, it seemed that the alcohol she drank numbed the pain quite a bit, so she was still able to run under her own power. After what seemed like forever, Taking a few detours and looking back to make sure we weren't being followed, we finally reached my place. We got inside, with Mia still rapidly bleeding. My parents were home, and they were really scared and confused as to what was going on. I told them I can explain later, and that for now they need to call 911. I told them the location of the attack, which luckily I still remembered where it happened. A few moments later, an ambulance came along with a police car. Mia was taken to the hospital, while, amazingly, the man was actually found unconscious with all the evidence of the crime occurring still there. The blood, the arm, the knife, everything. So it was easy for police to piece together what happened and arrest the man. 
Since then, Mia has made a full recovery in the hospital, and we ended up being good friends. She even started to take karate classes herself. Despite that, she still wanted me to walk with her to have each other's backs. What can be learned from all this in the end? I suggest that you should always have your guard up in a situation like this and to just always have something with you to defend yourself with. Stay safe out there. You can almost never know what can happen out there.